Hello, my beautiful people. This is Kayla with your Jamis. I hope you're doing well. Today, I have a Noble Collection haul. Uh, these are replicas all under 80 that I've been accumulating for the last three months. I had it in my closet and I was like, you know what? It's time. I want to unbox them all for you and let you guys know what, which ones are available, which ones are up for pre-order. Since they are not that expensive, they are usually in stock, but right now the Weasley Twins, which we can start with that one, that retails 79, is up for pre-order in the Noble Collection website, but guess what? It's actually available and in stock on Amazon. So I'm gonna link everything that I show here down below. So you guys can refer back, put it on your wish list. I have in my Noble Collection um, account a wish list of items and you know, they notify you when they're in stock. So that is pretty cool. So as you guys can see, this comes with two screws. It comes with their ones. Let me, ooh, there we go. Okay, so here we got Fred's one. As you guys can see, I think it reminds me like of chocolate. I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> we got George Swan. I think I like this one better than Fred's. I don't know, <laughs> I think I like this better. So this one I will put together and show you guys um, when it's ready to display because it comes in pieces as you can see. So it doesn't come as a one whole oh this is cute okay okay i like it i'm gonna put it together and show it to you Okay, I'm not gonna say I was able to do this by myself. I literally had to call my husband to help me because you had to put the screws here and like screw it at the same time. And it requires some skills that I don't have. And this is why when people are like, Carla, you can do that yourself instead of buying it. I'm like, no, I'm not crafty enough, people. You put too much trust and faith on my skills. They're none, none. So my husband came, help me. He's gone now and I can just show the final product let me get the ones so you can see it with the one okay so according to the noble collection um fred's goes first and then george and let me tell you it's called the weasley one collection but it only includes the two of them which is kind of weird give me one that has arthur's molly run you know fred george genie include bill there and you know and charlie's fuck it like <laughs> anyway this is how it looks let's go to the next one next item that we have is <laughs> okay this is the crystal divination ball i had gotten like a ten dollar version of it uh a while ago couple of weeks in books a million and i was like you know what i want the actual replica this one retails 45 or 49 retails 49 and i showed the or um the prophecy or back in 2020 and i really liked it i would i would have preferred if this was like the same as the orb of order of the phoenix but still looks pretty cool, I guess. You guys can see the little elephants here. I like it. I like the size too. It's not huge, but it's not small. I was ready to have something like bigger in the collection. Next item we have is Bellatrix Dagger. Okay, so this one uh, retails 55. And, um, I have been getting a little bit more into the dark art items. So I was like, you know what? I feel it would be a good fit to have it in that shelf. I really like the box, like the way they made this box and the red. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's 
get it out for a minute you can see it's i thought it was like black but it's not it's actually green and then it it can work like to cut letters or open boxes like it doesn't actually cut or anything i know uk um noble collection doesn't sell it online like you had to actually go to the store and get it um so i'm grateful the united states just you know sends replicas because they're replicas <laughs> so here have a good look for it in the box and i'll be putting all the items that i open here in the shelf so you guys can see where did i ended up styling them next item we have boom roll oh okay this is the locket they find in the case i have opened here um the locket uh, that is actually the horcrux but this is the locket, and I honestly didn't even knew this existed. Like, I remember showing the fake $10 locket that I found in Books A Million versus the locket that Noble Collection had. And in the moment, I didn't catch that Noble Collection also sells a fake locket. So I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought when you guys say fake locket, you meant, like, not authentic from the Noble Collection. No, I'm late to the game. They actually sell a fake locket. And you know why I didn't need this existed? Also because Noble Collection in the United States doesn't sell it. I got it from the UK. Um, their price was, I think, 42 pounds, which translates to like 50 something um, dollars. And uh, I shipped it. They do not ship to the United States. I shipped it to a friend. <gasps> oh, okay, it has the letter. Do people open this letter? Do you have this locket? Leave a comment down below letting me know how do you proceed. I'm only scared to fudge this up. Oh my goodness, you can actually read the letter. Okay, so as you can see, it has like a green felt inside. I don't want to open it. What if, I don't, what if I don't know how to fold it back? What happens if I don't know how to fold this? The way it was folded. Let me grab it on video in case I would need to go back. <laughs> okay, let me see. Ooh. Wow. To the Dark Lord. I know I'll be dead long before you read this, but I want you to know that it was I who discovered your secret. I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. I face death in the hope that when you meet your match, you will be mortal once more. I I got this. That's <laughs> my problem. Okay, uh, this is pretty cool. I honestly I like this replica better than the horror crooks one. I don't know if you have watched this that video. Yeah, it was very easy to fold back. I don't know why I was so scared. So if you have watched that video, if not, I'm gonna link it down below. I was like kind of disappointed on the material. Obviously, this same material. Uh, so I'm not, it doesn't take me by surprise, the feel of plastic. Um, back when I opened the Slytherin locket, I was really disappointed because I was expecting something like more metal feel, more $50 feel. And it felt a little bit cheap. Um, but now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, I was expecting this to be the same material. So it didn't take me by surprise. So I guess I can appreciate it a little bit more. And I wasn't expecting the note to, to actually have a note inside. And if it says that on the description of the item, it just shows you once again that I'm bad at reading descriptions of the items. But let's put it in its case. Um, these two I will definitely be displaying side by side, I think. Ta-da! I need to fix it. I'll fix it. So that one is only available at Noble Collection UK. I will link it down below for you guys. Next item. And we have the goblet in which they actually, you know, make Dumbledore drink the cursed water or something. Okay, so the reason I... I first thought of ordering this one. I wanted to have it on my entryway and putting my keys in here. And then my husband was like, 
we never go inside the house through our actual entryway we go through the garage so that idea is kind of dumb so i never ordered it <laughs> but it's really pretty i you know i like it very much and i might put the locket inside of here instead of displaying it on this thing i don't know i will decide and show you guys what i decide goblet retails 45 dollars and it's currently up for pre-order i will link it in my description too another item that i wanted to show that i already have in my collection is this deluminator i opened it on my instagram stories a couple of weeks ago he is uh retailing 45 dollars i think and I found it to be so cool. <laughs> like I wasn't expecting it for it to light up. So when I saw a couple of fellow Potterheads showing it on reels, you know, it's it's not a visual effect. Like it actually lights up. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna keep it here in the box. Um, not letting my kids touch it. But for 45, it's one of those items that I wasn't rushed to get. But at the same time, if it were to be discontinued someday, I would kick myself for not getting it. So I am pretty glad it's in my collection now. Next item that I want to show you from the Noble Collection is also unavailable in the United States. I got it from a page that shipped from Germany. I'm going to link it down here. It was The shipping was more expensive than the actual item. The actual item was like $45. And is Ombridge Quill. I think it's very, very delicate. One of those items my kid definitely cannot touch, but I have not seen it available in the Novel Collection UK. I didn't saw it available in the France website. So when I saw it available on this page, I actually saw an eBay auction that I was like added to my watch list. And then I was like, let me check if somebody has it, you know, even if it's not for retail. And I saw this page having it for retail. I was like, oh my God, I want to add that. It's under 50 bucks so again shipping was not cheap but it did arrive on its novel collection box um and it arrived very well protected so i feel you know it was worth it since it's very hard to find right now i finished putting the replicas in the shelf so now i'm gonna show you first we have my weasley shelf um it's actually my weasley's wizard wheezes shelf so i think the ones in the middle look great so this shelf has pieces from Order of the Phoenix to Deadly Hallows. You guys can see the creature. I have a whole unboxing on him. So I put Bellatrix daggers right there. And here I put Umbridge Squill. I got, um, you know, the Tales of Beetle of the Bars as a uh, collector item I added not that long ago. Dumbledore's Knife is a replica by Wizard Alley. Um, I don't have the Noble Collection one. So I put the goblet with the fake locket in here and the illuminator. Um, the um, prophecy that I was telling you guys about and the divination um, crystal ball. What do you guys think? Okay, I have a very special giveaway going on in my Instagram right now. I'm giving away this golden egg that actually has white chocolate inside. It was available at Marks and Spencer UK, not available in the United States, unfortunately. So I'm going to send this one to a lucky winner on Saturday. Giveaway closes on Friday, April 8th. So if you haven't joined, go to our Instagram and join that giveaway. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments which one of the replicas is next on your wish list. Which one are you adding to your collection? And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and stay safe. Bye-bye.